Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got one of the new Lego Disney Princess sets to build. This is Rapunzel's traveling caravan. And it's not the Rapunzel we know from the Tangled movie. It's the Rapunzel from Tangled the series. So I actually have not seen the Tangled series. So I'm just gonna be making up some of these details as we go along because I don't know what's going on, but it's a caravan. And we get a brand new outfit for Rapunzel, a really new look, and it's it's great. It's nice to see the princesses in something that is really useful for going out and adventuring. And she's got a very, she's got a face full of expression. She's got the Rapunzel hair that we are used to seeing. And this face is different to what we see in the movie versions of the Rapunzel, but the, the, it suits the cartoon version for the series really, really well. You'll have to look it up and, and check it out. So she's got a hair, she's got bows. She's also coming equipped with a bow and arrow because she and her handmaiden, Cassandra, this is who this is here now. She is also dressed to, to travel around. They are going to be leaving Corona, going out on an adventure and they're, they're going in the caravan. And I just love the caravan. And I love the fact that Cassandra once again has got one of these faces that is full of expression and she's actually thinking something rather than just smiling inanely. She also gets a brand new hair piece, which is very, very welcome. I love to see new hair molds. And she is equipped with a sword, which I am assuming she knows how to handle and how to use. And we're gonna make sure she's not actually pointing it at us. Good, all right, we also have an apple. Not certain whether this is just for target practice or let's see if Cassandra can cut it in half with her sword if it oh, <laughs> We can just knock everything over while we try and do this. Let's see, there we go, no, she can't. So that sword is really, really blunt, so perfectly safe for children to play with. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, move these girls out of the way because the set also comes with someone who will really appreciate the apple, Maximus the horse, who I don't know how he feels about going out on this adventure, especially with a flower in his hair. But when you hang out with Rapunzel, you end up with flowers everywhere. And he's gonna have his middle section filled up here, but he's also going to be given the job, if he, if he, if he can be bribed with an apple, for given the job of pulling the caravan. So he's gonna hang out with the girls too. All right, let's see what the first part of the build is. Now this has got a whole heap of swappable parts like we've seen with the other, ooh, that looks like uh, like an like arrow, arrow quivery things, an arrow quiver and a target. So we can swap these around and put them onto other sets as well, make a nice big palace and put these on different parts of the caravan too, which we'll check out later. We've now got something to, well, we've got a nice big crate and we've got a bucket of water. So this looks like it might be their supplies chest or what, you know, it holds all of the things that they're gonna need for, for eating <laughs> and making stews and delicious things while they're out on the road. And our next little interchangeable bit check this out looks like we've got a little fireplace of some sort in fact it's not just a fireplace it's a kind of a little a little hob top stove that's really cute and on the top of it is a saucepan with this new fried egg piece that we saw in the drifting diner and you know what we only got given one of these in this set we have not even been given a spare <laughs> so i'm gonna have to look after that okay we've finished with all the little extraneous pieces i think now we are starting everyone's gonna have to move back starting on the caravan and i, I think you may have figured out from earlier on that I'm really excited about the concept of the caravan. And in the picture, the caravan looks fantastic. So let's see whether it's gonna be as good to build as it looks and whether it's gonna be as good to play with, whether it's gonna have lots of playable areas. Cause I have to say, I've been kind of disappointed with the Disney Princess releases this year so far. They've been kind of simple and there's just not a lot of detail in them. So. I want to see a bit more detail in this and I think we might. I think we might. I'm hoping we might. Fingers crossed that we will. So let me see. Let's see where we go from here. So we have got a smooth part in the middle there, which means we're going to have either a moving section or we can have something there. <laughs> How's that for helpful? There's going to be something there. And I still don't know whether this is the back or the front yet. So I'm just going to keep building. Got places here. This is where we can put all of those little pieces that we've already made. So we can put them inside the caravan if we want. And we can jump them on and off if, if we want to swap them in and out. So down here, we've got a bedspread with cute little owls on it. It's quite patched. 
So this one obviously came with the caravan. I don't think the princess and her handmaiden would be uh, carrying around. Oh, unless it's a much beloved blanket from their childhood. I don't know. So that's a little bed and it is absolutely perfectly snug for one person. Let's see what else we get. So we have two of these that flip up. They could be, they could be steps up into the caravan, maybe. Though, oh, it doesn't look like it at all. It looks like, oh, I think I've got a clue of what they, what that will be, but we're gonna hold on. I've just put them on the wrong side. I'm gonna have to concentrate. We've made a little, a little compartment for, I think for this trunk to go in. So it's actually gonna be able to be inserted in. It's got all your important stuff like the hairbrush and a crown and a jewel. So all the important princessy stuff. And the set does come with an extra crown. So there's no worries about losing one of them. And this trunk fits perfectly into that compartment. So it's like a secret traveling compartment underneath the caravan. Actually, not really that secret. We're up to bag number two, but it's very, very sensible and very clever. I like that, that they can put all their belongings in the trunk and store it under the caravan. Now, not st I still don't know which side is the front yet, so we'll, we'll keep going and I'm sure it will become clear as we go. Oh, that looks like something that's going to be moving. In fact, I think they... Okay, so this piece here is... Oh, it looks like it might be a bed. It's going to be inserted in to those gray pieces with the grooves. Look at that. That's how you're going to fit two beds in the caravan. That is very clever. Oh, I really like that. Let's, let's see how this finishes up. So a little sliding bed at the top so you can tuck it away when you don't need it. Oh, that's really great. And these little gold shield bits means it's actually stuck in place. Well, that is, that's clever. Now that's great. That's the sort of thing I want to see in the Disney princess bills. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, let's see. It's very snug inside the caravan, but there's enough space for two of them to sleep. And there is a place there where they can put some of their carrying stuff on the front. Oh, and Rapunzel even gets a pillow. That's so cute. All right, we have one of the old fashioned book scrolly type looking things. It's not scroll, but I don't know what this is about. It's a, it's a book obviously. And there's, where's the sticker for the front? Oh, hold on, it's a printed piece. I actually put it on back to front. That's really, really lovely. And I have no idea what this is, but I'm gonna assume it's Rapunzel's diary. So it's sitting there in, in a little niche right next to her bed and she gets these beautiful big windows up here so she won't be claustrophobic sit up here in the top of the caravan actually I think the spot down the bottom would be kind of claustrophobic don't you I don't think I'd want to sleep down there also you get stepped on whenever who's on the top has to get down and go to the toilet in the middle of the night <laughs> so you know, Cassandra's hopping out of there and it looks like she is driving I think that is going to be the front of the caravan I think we're definitely starting to see the shape taking taking shape <laughs> now except I put that round the wrong way too there we go now that's better oh it's gorgeous I love the color I love I'm loving everything about this this is very very good okay we're heading up the top here and there's even a little window box outside the window it's got some colorful striped awnings overhanging the window at the back it's just the most gorgeous little caravan. Another little striped awning here for what I'm going to assume is going to be the front door. Is there a front door on a caravan? And we've got a picture here that Rapunzel has painted. I'm assuming of her parents because it's got a big R on it. So I think that Rapunzel painted that and she's taken it with her to keep, oh, to keep her company. That's really sweet. Now we've got some more pillow pieces at the top here. Oh, this is good. So this here is the big awning over the front, over the driver area, and one of the new lantern pieces, which I am loving seeing, and it's gonna swing as the caravan goes along. And there's our door. Well, this looks marvelous. We're up to bag number three. This is really good. Okay, next up, I, are we up to the roof? We're not quite up to the roof. We got, oh, we've got another little window box. So we're going to make an enormous piece of the wall for the back of the caravan because the back of the caravan is still gaping wide open to the breeze. Oh, I love the new window colours too. That teal colour is just gorgeous. 
and the pink shutters with the bird cutouts. Oh, it's just perfect. It's just gorgeous. All right, let's see how this is going to work. So this goes on there, and if we go, we go around the back. So we've got this big open wall, so we can open it and easily access inside the caravan. Oh, that's so good. That is such great design. All right, definitely now onto the roof, because this has got to be the roof. It can't possibly be anything else. We've got some nice contoured pieces to really make the shape of the caravan over the top. And that, where does that hold on? Oh, okay, up here at the back. So that's really, that's great. So we can easily take that off too. And we need a teeny tiny smokestack for, oh, I suppose we can put the oven, the little, the, the little hob, hob oven on the inside. Oh, it's going to be snug. <laughs> that's, oh, it's just adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Now, I did mention that Maximus is going to have to pull this caravan. So here's his harness and we're going to need, <laughs> we're going to need wheels. Otherwise it's going to be really, really hard to pull it and <laughs> nigh on impossible. So let me see. Now I've got wheels and it looks so great. Let's attach Maximus to, how does this work? You know, that doesn't work at all. Hold on. <laughs> really doesn't work. Hold on, hold on. So we've got an extra piece here to put it in like, oh, hold on. No, no, I've got to take that. Yeah, that one out too. Good. All right. Now Maximus is connected up. Plus we've also got those other pieces if we want to take Maximus off and we can put all of our, all of our supplies. We can put anything we like on the back. We could put our oven here on the back, the stove on the back. Oh, this is real. This is great. So I actually think, like I said before, the stove needs to go inside, but you could take it out to cook outside if you want. That's really so good. So snug in there. And you could sleep right next to the warm coals. That would keep you nice and snuggly inside. Oh, that's cool. We'll put the supplies back on the back and then they'll be all ready for their adventure. Except I have no idea where they're going or what they're doing, but ha, hello, caravan, so cool. We can put all the rest of their stuff up the top. <laughs> so useful. Okay, including, including Rapunzel if she wants to travel along with the wind in her hair up on the very top of the caravan. Okay, we actually still have, we need a ladder to get up into the door there. That's, that's fabulous. That's my favorite thing. Okay, we've got this extra part of the build and this has got something to do with the plot. So I actually am not clear on what this part is for because I haven't seen Tangled the series, but it, <laughs> I, I, can make, I can make little guesses. There's the, so there's a crystal there. We've got a picture here of a flower. And it's obviously a very important magical flower by the looks of it. And there's a crystal hiding behind there, but there are also thorns and spikes. So I have to imagine that the thorns and spikes make bad things happen. Does the crystal make good things happen? Mm, I think it might, though I really have no idea. And the cute little waterfall beside it. And here we've got a sign pointing to a place where you can go for palm trees. So after they've been here, they head off to the beach, do they? I don't know, but that's what the pictures are telling me. <laughs> we've got some really nice greenery. So we've got a fantastic caravan. We've got two brand new characters wearing new outfits and one with a new hair mold. There is a lot to love about this set. Now, if you want to see more Lego sets being built, do make sure that you subscribe and that way you get notified when new videos go up. Don't forget that I have got some LEV Toys merch now available. So if you have a birthday coming up, make sure you let people know and maybe, maybe you might receive one. You might be lucky, you never know. And make sure you check out some of my other videos while you wait for a new one, which will come very, very soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.